Hi, we are going to continue our notes on the global warming and we're going to focus in on the greenhouse effect. The greenhouse effect is like when you get in your car on a hot summer day. Um, all the windows have been shut and when you get in it's so hot you hardly can breathe. You have to open up all your windows. That's what's happening here in the environment. So greenhouse gas has absorbed the energy radiated from the earth and trap it in the atmosphere. This is necessary to some extent because without it, earth would be very cold. However, the problem we're having is human activities have increased the amount of greenhouse gases. And that's causing the increase in temperature. So greenhouse gases are gases that absorb heat. Comes from burning of fossil fuels, um, releasing solid waste, trees not taking in, so the cutting down of trees, not taking in the carbon dioxide to go through the process of photosynthesis. Methane is a greenhouse gas. It's the production and transportation of coal, natural glass, oil, nitrous oxide, agricultural and industrial um, factories will create this. And again, fluorinated gases are found in industrial, commercial, and household uses. And we also have water vapor and ozone. This is just showing you the greenhouse gas emissions. Okay, greenhouse gases can remain in the atmosphere for 10 to 1,000 years, okay? And because of this, this will increase the levels of gases because of our human activities. So it kind of compounds the amount because each year we add more in, okay? So just some fun facts. Um, from 1990 to 2008, um, carbon dioxide has increased about 16%, which really from 1905, it's doubled. Fluorinated gases increased 66%. Methane has decreased, okay, and nitrous oxide has decreased. Now, carbon dioxide, prior to the Industrial Revolution, carbon dioxide levels in the atmosphere was at 280 parts per million. 2009, it increased to 386, and it's still growing rapidly. So we've seen a 17% increase in those 45 years. So again, I wanted to point out, just as a review, you've already seen this, but again, this was starting to be observed in 1930s. Okay, and the problem is, is it's going to melt the polar ice caps. It's going to raise your sea levels. Maybe New York City and Los Angeles will disappear one day because they'll be underwater. Um, it alters the patterns of rainfall, plant life. Habitats are going to be altered. Okay, warmer, texture, warmer temperatures affect how humans feel. Heat waves in the summer do claim adult lives, human adults. Okay, and just so you know that it's still predicted to rise as far as our temperature changes. Okay, so if you guys have any questions, see me tomorrow. Thanks.